Okay, so one of my favorite new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 16.1 has got to be live activities. Now, live activities, of course, allow you to keep track of things that are happening in real time. Maybe a sports event, you can keep track of scores. Maybe you have food delivery coming to your house. You can see everything that's happening in real time directly from the lock screen of your iPhone and or dynamic island. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very cool application that allows you to create your very own live activity, things like weather for the dynamic island of your iPhone and for the lock screen of your iPhone to keep track of live activities that you wish to create directly on your device. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as to the filming of this video, iOS 16.1 is four days away from being released, which means in the App Store, you'll start finding apps that take advantage of live activities. And one of the apps that I really like right now is Activity Builder. It is currently under test flight. I'll have any links in the description down below if you want to give it a try. If there's any spots available, you'll be able to download it and try it out with test flight right now before 16.1 is released. If not, you can probably find it in the App Store after iOS 16.1 is officially released. Super easy easy app to use here so let's go into the application itself here and let me show you how easy it is to work the app now this app allows you to create live activities from different things so you have the builder here up at the top then you have device so you can create a live activity from the battery right so you can have battery information displayed here on your dynamic island or lock screen as you can see right there you also have the ability to also have your wi-fi information or storage information there's also additional live activities that you can create for health so you have the step counter or the activity rings can also be set there for dynamic island or the lock screen you can keep track of that one of my favorites is the weather which is the one that i wanted to share with you guys today daily weather or current weather and you also have the ability to add calendar so you have your today event and up next all this information can be displayed on the lock screen with live activities or dynamic island on iphone 14 pro with dynamic island which looks really really cool so let me show you how easy it is to set this up now the first thing you want to do is launch the application of course and then you want to go ahead and select the option that you want i want current live weather and all i have to do right there i have to click stop because i'm running it right now it'll ask you for permissions make sure you allow notifications and location services for weather and click start now once your live activity is all set up you also need a method in order to refresh this information for it to stay current as simple the weather here needs to stay current so what you want to do is you want to make sure you use the shortcuts application now it's a very simple method all you have to do is set it up once and you want to go into automations here and create a brand new automation now in here you want to select open app and right here this will allow you to every time you open a specific app on your iphone this information will refresh so what you want to do is select the apps that you use every day constantly for me for example that would be the messages application the app store let's go here and select the apps that i use often so every time i launch these applications that information on the stack status bar will refresh to the current information messages I use all day every day let's go here through the list of Apple apps settings I open every single day Safari I open every single day so I'm going to use those apps as my refresh method for this live activity click done here and then click on next then you want to tap on the search tab here and then you want to go into app sections right here and then you want to go ahead and select the live builder activity builder sorry you want to go ahead and select a refresh and now every time I launch any of those applications that we've selected it will refresh the actual activity builder giving the current information right there to the actual dynamic island and the lock screen with a lot of activities you want to turn off ask before running and then don't ask and now every time i launch the settings application for example it will relaunch this information or actually rerun it, right? Refresh this information. Or if I open messages, any of the apps that I just selected, when I launch them, since I always launch these apps anyway, it will refresh the information and this information will always stay current on the lock screen or the dynamic island. Now, for those of you that do not have an iPhone 14 Pro, you can also use this. Some of these uh, will also work with picture in picture. You'll have a banner up at the top here. This information can also be displayed that way. Activity Builder is a cool application again links will be in the description once spots become available now if by the time you watch this video ios 16.1 is officially released to the public you can always go into the app store and search for this application yourself thank you for watching today's video guys let me know what you think about this one i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace